Hello everyone, this is Austin from Nerf Firefly Corps. This is Nerf Thrifting Episode 7. So when I was clearing space on my iPad, I accidentally deleted a bunch of thrifting pictures because I always take a picture of what I got on that day so that way I don't like leave out a blaster and I know the day I got it. But um, I deleted a bunch of them accidentally, meaning I lost track of a bunch of different like episodes, like different groups of blasters I got. It's not that big of a deal, but... Um, I, I might mix up the order or leave a blaster out or whatever, so... And and there might be episodes where I don't even remember the date or, that I got it, so... It kind of sucks, but I think... If I remember correctly, I think I got this group on June 18th this year. So let's get started. The first thing is the Midnight Night Finder. So, Night Finder, it's really not a very good blaster. I do have one, but it doesn't work. It can catch, and then you can press the trigger and it you know, uncatches, but it just doesn't work. Like, it, it can't fire a dart. So, this one does work, and it was two ninety nine. So, I'm not really a huge fan of the Night Finder, so I really want to get one, but it was in this, the Midnight color, which is really cool, with the blue and yellow. So, it's a decent find. The next thing is the Nerf N-Strike Switch Shot, which can be used with the Wii game, the Nerf N-Strike Wii game, which I will do a video on in the future. But basically, you can take out this piece, and then just slide a Wii Remote right in, and then it works with the game. So, this is $4.99. The next thing is a Tech Target e Eliminator, which came with a pack of two of these, and then a Tech Target, well, a, a Tech Target. Um, I got these darts with it. I thought these were the vintage ones, but they're just X-Shot, like yellow and black X-Shot darts, so... I had never seen them before, so what else did I think? And then just a Busby Suction Cup dart. So this was... Um, seven nine or six ninety nine, which is kind of expensive for this, but oh my god, it since it's kind of a vintage one, you know, I didn't have one, so it was cool. The next thing is the Elite Spectre, except I have some recon attachments. It didn't have the stock or the cool suppressor on it, and it was four ninety nine, which is kind of expensive for just a you know, pistol like this. So that's why I slapped on these recon attachments that I found lying around at the store to make it a little bit more, like, worth it, I guess. So, but that is a pretty good find. I never, um, I never find specters. So the last thing is the Nerf, um, Elite or actually AccuStrike Raptor Strike with two six hundred magazines. This is a massive one. I cannot fit it on frame. But this was six ninety nine, which is still kind of expensive considering that it didn't have any of the Raptor Strike magazines, and it didn't even have the flip up sight thing. But I don't have any of these Raku or I used to not have any Accu Strike blasters, so uh, the the phones are in the back. Sorry about that. But um, since it was something that I didn't really have, I got it, and it's also a pretty big blaster, so. And it, it, and it did have two magazines, which is pretty cool. So, that concludes this episode of Nerf Thrifting. Thank you very much for watching, and see you in the next video.